Finance Act 2023 introduced an amendment with potentially far-reaching consequences. It pertains to taxability of amounts written back on account of waiver or remission of a loan liability. The background is that Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code introduced in 2016 has seen a large number of corporate debtors which were distressed getting resolved. One of the prime considerations going through the minds of affected parties is the taxability of the write backs on account of significant remission or waiver of the loan liabilities. Fortunately, the Supreme Court in the case of Mahindra and Mahindra took a view that the existing provision section 28 subclause 4 covered only a benefit which is received in kind and therefore if the loan which was received in cash gets waived, there is no taxability. The Finance Act 23 has now modified this section to say that even if the benefit is in cash or partly in cash, the amounts will be taxable under section 28 sub clause 4. Now, therefore, this whole aspect of waiver of a loan liability is going to significantly be in spotlight post the amendment in section 28.4. If we look at the provision, it's a simple provision. It talks of two conditions. There has to be a benefit or a perquisite and that benefit or perquisite has to be arising from business. As far as the first aspect is concerned, it might be possible to argue that once there is a waiver of a loan liability, there is a benefit because the SSC who had a responsibility to pay that money is absolved from that liability to pay the money. But it is the second aspect whether that waiver or the benefit arising as a result of waiver is it arising from business. This is going to be an aspect which is going to go through a lot of judicial process. There are two arguments possible both on the extreme. One a simplistic argument to take a view that because the loan was taken for the purpose of business, any waiver is arising from the business. But if we look at the judicial precedents that have come so far, it's possible to argue that only in a situation where there is a close and a direct nexus between the loan liability and the business of the SSE, only in such cases any waiver or remission will be considered to be arising from business. And therefore, there is a view possible that in only in cases where the SSE is in the business of taking loans as a regular part of his business activity, more in the situation of a non-banking finance company or a bank, in such cases the waiver would be arising from business. In other cases, basis the judicial precedents, it's possible to argue that a waiver of a loan liability will not be taxable under Section 28.4. But I think this whole aspect is likely to go through sub substantial litigation and it will be only after a period of time that we will have clarity. Therefore, assessees are definitely advised to take a proper opinion both on the basis of the facts and the surrounding circumstances before they finally take a position with regard to taxability. This provision has been introduced from 1-4-2023 for assessment year 24-25.